moving out of my apartment, you guys. What's up and welcome back to my channel my name is lola if this is your first time stopping by welcome back to another vlog okay you guys this week is about to be another week on leave and i'm about to like vlog the entire week for you guys as per usual i just came back home from work i actually had to still go into work today today's monday by the way and i still had to go into work just to like sort out some things I had to hand over to the doctor who's like taking over me since i'm going to be on leave submit my leave um form get it signed and all of that stuff so yeah i just got back home and it's like five minutes past 12 i actually have a wax appointment today you guys i'm going to get a brazilian wax for the first time and i'm so nervous like i don't even know how to feel i've waxed other parts of my body like my eyebrows my legs my arms my underarms i've never waxed that area so i don't know how this is about to be you guys pray for me so yes there's the elephant in the room i got my nose pierced that happened like almost a month ago at this point but you guys don't worry i'll try to bring you guys up to speed with everything that has happened this week the reason i really took my leave is because hmm, i don't know if i say it yet actually i will because i'll be tight to this vlog i'm moving out of my apartment you guys so this is pretty much going to be like my moving vlog i just came home to change into my flip-flops so i can get going to my wax appointment i'm getting old I, I don't want to be a late person anymore so i'm gonna head out and i'll see you guys when i get there it's not that bad <laughs> most people shout when people are shouting, see, 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 see. it's not that bad. So I just finished my wax and it was really good. The pain was honestly not bad at all. Like I'll say it was a good maybe three over ten. I think it to be worse. The person that um waxed me, she was even saying that most people when it's their first time it takes like hours because when you take out the first time we're like no 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 wait but it's actually not bad at all i really enjoyed it weirdly enough i think the only thing is that it's a bit like this person's gonna be all up in here you know what and then they have to wax your butt crack as well so you have to kind of like turn over and give them your yeah. i'm trying not to be too vulgar but i'm sure you guys get it it's still raining anyway but i'm done and i'm about to go home you guys i'm in my new room <laughs> In my new room, I just like brought a bunch of my stuff. I already told you guys yesterday that I'm going to spend I don't know what this is in my hair, there's something in my hair. Anyway, just ignore it. I already told you guys I'm going to spend the most part of this week like moving into my new place. I'm just checking out my room and everything looks really nice. The room looks really nice. I love the doors, I love the floor, everywhere is white and spacious. I love it. Let me show you guys the bathroom. So this is my bathroom. I love the um shower head like it's huge and it's giving me all the vibes i also love the toilet seat it's very empty right now but like i plan to obviously get things like organized i just don't like where they put the sink i wish the sink was maybe a bit closer to the door or maybe there so that i could have put some things to organize right here but i don't know i don't think it looks so bad you guys that's literally all i've brought so far i don't know why that is still there or what is going to like stay there but i hope they cover it up soon ac is going to go there they haven't put it in yet so you guys need to ignore the mess that my apartment is but like i've packed almost all of my stuff i'm putting most of my stuff into boxes i wish i had bigger boxes to put them in but i only found two so i've arranged my stuff into them most of the stuff in my living room is not going with me i'm only going to take my tv and my console i'm going to try to sell my couch try to sell that chair um i'm still contemplating how to keep this rug i've emptied this desk out completely i've taken off my printer all of my books and everything i've also completely cleared out my wardrobe well save for that i want to give that out um and these are just the things i know i will use from now up to when i leave but yeah everything is completely cleared out my room looks a mess so i'm not even going to show you guys
my apartment is looking empty empty i want to sell the couch and that other like armchair i'm still looking for a buyer i already found someone to buy um this desk though it's a lot of madness going on right there right now this plant i don't know yet if i want to take it it's fake and a lot of the leaves have like fallen off so i don't know if i want it my kitchen is all cleaned out um i left my washer because i still need to do some of my laundry um i'll probably move that in the last trip I'm trying to sell my fridge it's still very like new but i don't need it where i'm going so yeah i'm trying to sell that as well i cleaned it up and everything you guys everywhere looks so empty <laughs> It's kind of sad and a bit nostalgic because I remember when I first moved in here and this whole space was empty and now I'm literally moving out like two years after. But yeah, it's a bit sad. I'm very excited for a new beginning. Yeah, I'm about to go take like the second to last of my stuff. Um, when I come back here, it will just be to take one more trip and I'll literally be done moving the things I'm like taking to my new place. I had to go take one of my dad's cars to move. It's literally full to the brim. Like I've stuck it with just so much like it's literally so full so full i'm done packing myself into the kitchen if you hear any noise just ignore they're installing something downstairs um, this is going to continue for a long time i just put up my console in my room my room is still very empty as you can hear from the echo ball this is probably going to be the emptiest it will be so i figured i should just do a quick empty room tour because there's obviously nothing in the room right now so yeah let me show you guys that's the door when you first come in um and i just set up my console and my tv here these tools i think i'm going to spray the top white so it can be like white and brown i'm not sure yet so i decided to keep my console because i really love this console you guys like it's so gorgeous and it was such a good buy. I don't want to like get rid of it. You see on this side, I just have all of my stuff on the floor. And I think I'm going to have like a wardrobe on this entire side, if you guys can envision it. And that's my bathroom door. At first of all, I don't like that the windows are like, I don't like how the windows are placed, but um, I think it's turned off the light. Okay, there's light now. So this is the space. I think I'm going to have my bed right here. Um, so that that way it can kind of face this like little setup here and then i don't know what i will do with all of this space but yeah you guys this is what we've got so far eight weeks later She's probably on her way back now. She has landed in Abuja. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She's on her way back now. So I'm about to boil her rice and warm up the sauce. Hopefully it's ready before she gets here. So yeah, let me get to it. Wow. Wow. <laughs>
making my latte i use this oatly milk i've been looking for it for ages and i finally found it dima mentioned it in one of her vlogs it's actually really nice i like it i also like the alpro oat milk as well i think i prefer the alpro one i've shown you guys that one before it's a bit more sweet but this is really really nice as well this looks so good i can't wait to drink it my camera battery died so i had to like plug it to be charging i'm just going to quickly unbox and i'm using my phone right now to um record this has become like the best part of my mornings i'm always drinking a latte like if you follow me on instagram you know that i post them like literally every morning now the oat milk definitely makes it taste really good you guys know i only drink plant-based milk and oat milk has been such a game changer for me um and i really like that oatly brand it makes a really nice latte like honestly you could never tell that there wasn't any like animal milk in this you won't be able to tell it just helps me get my day started it gives me a lot of energy to like keep pushing because most times i just want to go back to sleep cheers the first thing i got is this wig from this brand they're called the hair caterers you know these um premium fiber wigs that they sell abroad they ship them to nigeria and i got one because when i lived abroad i used to wear a lot of these wigs and they can actually last because they're made of premium fiber most times you can straighten you can curl them i really wanted a long like wavy wig but i don't have 250k to spend on human hair so yeah i got this this is giving very much hd melt into your scalp type of lace you guys i hope i don't look like a mad woman with this thing on my head honestly i don't care you guys are going to have to accept me the way i am i want to take some pictures and i feel like long wavy hair like this is the only look that would go so i'm so happy to have this i went to next cash and carry um yesterday as well so i got a few things you guys i'm buying this brand of lashes from them i have another style called miss world but i just bought this one called valentine because it's not so like dramatic the other one i have from them is a bit more dramatic than this i also bought this got to be free spray i bought like the small size just so i can use it to lay down my frontals my closures and things like that you guys ignore my nail it's broke off i need to go back and see my nail guy i also got this zaron mascara this is like the best mascara i've ever used it lengthens your lashes so much i think it even has some type of fiber in it i'm not sure but like it makes my lashes look really long every time i use this mascara people always ask me if i have lashes on and i don't if you guys have never tried this mascara this is what it looks like it's a zaron it says lengthening mascara i don't think you guys can see but if you've never tried this one you should definitely get it it's like 2000 plus I don't have my receipt, so I don't remember, but it was like 2,000 something. I'm almost done because I didn't get so much, apparently. Also stocked up on some of my skincare stuff. I re-upped on my Urban Skin RX um, cleanser. I tried the one for combination skin and I didn't notice any difference at all. So please don't even bother getting that one. And I also got this Complexion Protection Moisturizer. I've used this before, actually. It's really nice. It's um, sunscreen plus moisturizer. And I think two-in-one products are amazing because sunscreen is very expensive. Moisturizer is very expensive. If you can get something that just has the two in one, then yeah, win win. At next, these things are actually cheaper. Each one costs 9,400. This, I know all other like skincare stores on Instagram, they sell this for like 10,000, 10,005. And this, the last time I bought it off of someone on Instagram, I bought it for 14,000. It has a pump which i really like as well so you don't get to like contaminate the product used both of them before and they're really great products so i just re-upped on them so the last thing i got are pillows they just say fiber pillow they're 2000 at next bought two of them i already have two pillows in my bed but by the time my bed is done i want to have a lot of pillows that's something you guys don't know about me but i actually love pillows my apartment in uni i used to have like I think 11 pillows on my bed i'm trying to bring that lola back i also have so many pillows on my bed my mattress is still on the floor because i don't even have a bed yet you guys my life is a mess this is the only corner i can kind of use right now so get used to seeing this i had to set it up real quick just to do this like little unboxing yeah my mom is watching tv i'm gonna take a shower soon we have some stuff we need to pick up some things we need to buy and all of that stuff so I'm going to head out really soon. I just want to finish my coffee. I'm um, trying to make a list of things I plan to do today. I'm going to reply some emails as well. And yeah, I'll see you guys much later. I've been to the market in ages. And now this woman here. Mommy, come say hi to my vlog. Hi. They can't even see your face. You won't face my... She's dragging me to the market. I'm so upset. Like, look at me wearing a nice ass dress. Thinking we're going to the mall or something. Now she's carrying me to the market. <laughs> Did you even do this color? Uh, a few days ago. I had no idea she had pink hair. Oh, this was the one I brought the last time. No, okay, yeah, actually it. true. You were wearing wigs. Mommy, this is us. Nigerian mothers and markets. You never want to hear that you can go to the store. Ooh, my skin is glowing though. My lace is lacing. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> 
I the best, the big ones first. Yes, as you should. Oh, also, so if it dies, I'm not a yes. Let's do it, guys. <laughs> like, if it dies, you know that you've eaten the big one. Yes, yeah, so, because when I was growing up, I used to eat small, small of my things. If I have the big one, I'll give the big one. At the end of the day, it's people that will join me to eat it. Alright. They will not eat the big ones. 